The truth is, YouTube makes money for people who are already blown. If you're a small YouTuber, it's a tall order, and it looks almost like impossible for you to grow on YouTube. But that's a lie. Let me show you some strategies that can give you 30 subscribers every single day. This is the same strategy I used when I was starting out on my other YouTube channel that got me monetized from Nigeria in one month, nine days, even from a very difficult niche. Let's go into it. Welcome back. My name is Blessing Kolawale, and this is Giant Tube, and I want you to stay with me. All I want to tell you, or all I wish for you, is to also make money from your YouTube. Some of us are doing that, and it's smooth when you can do this a bit. The very first thing I want to tell you is patience is the first thing. And I'm saying this not because I don't want you to use the strategies, but whatever strategy I'm going to teach you, you still have to calm down first. Metrics are a difficult thing to run after, especially if you're new. Because every day you are refreshing, you are looking at it. How many people have subscribed? How many views? You know, you can get caught away in that and it will break your heart. So the first thing I want to encourage you to do is put your mind off the metrics. It will come. I also felt like this nine months ago before I got to 15,000 subscribers, even as a fresh beginner. And that's why I'm teaching you this. The first thing that matters, if you want to grow on YouTube, is what I call branding. Please listen to me carefully. Focus on me. Branding. The reason I put branding as my number one is when people click from your thumbnail, the first thing they see they can look at your face and say hmm i don't like this face or it's not inviting enough how catchy is your thumbnail is part of your branding if you want to watch a movie and you see the thriller all of a sudden you want to watch that movie because they pick up all the interesting part and pop it up on the thumbnail all the popular artists they pop that up you know and then you are pushed to click to watch. that's exactly how you should think about your thumbnail don't write your title in your thumbnail no write something that can trigger people to click so they can now see your title remember titles are always appearing by the side of every thumbnail you don't have to repeat yourself don't waste that real estate put something in aggressive inviting not clickbaity not like they you're going to put something that you're not talking about in the video not that but put it up and it will make the difference that's my number one in the same branding when people come over to your own page how does it look do you have yellow green purple red and everything is just all over the place or you are well arranged and somebody looks at you and says hmm, i can feel this person is really trying i have seen channels that have 100 subscribers but when i click on it i watch everything on that channel you know why i know this person is involving and investing a lot in this channel not something that is just hurriedly put together and it's just nothing to write to me about you have to look good in every of your video have this brand for example on this channel this you see i'm wearing is what i'm going to be wearing that's my signature create a signature either it's your beard either the way you do your hair either something you paint on your face whatever it is create a signature that when anyone clicks and sees you know hmm, this is giant tube it's very important you have to maintain that your set can change location can change your personality should not change and when i'm talking about branding branding involves your voice the way your face looks the way your accent sound if you want to sound local sound local if you want to sound foreign sound foreign if you want to sound lively, sound live. If you want to look like a comedian or sound like one, sound like that. Don't sound cocky here. You know why this is important? Everybody that clicks on your subscribe button, tomorrow it comes out and say, hee 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 hee. You're going to be like, oh, why did I subscribe to this person? If you are going to be furiously serious, be furiously serious. YouTube as a whole is all about a community. People need to feel at home anytime they click and get to see you. That is how you brand out. If you need to practice, face the mirror, practice this, and make sure you are the master of this and grow on it. Number two, volume. What I mean by volume, I'm sure you would have had a lot of people tell you, you don't don't look for quantity look for quality my friend when you are starting out on youtube look for quantity and make it quality <laughs> it's important that you don't throw junk but don't look for perfection don't think you have to make the best of air or you have to wear something no go for it every day make sure you produce at worst one content if you're a news channel produce five minimally the reason for this is make sure you go at it the first month because that's when youtube will recognize that oh this is what this channel is all about until youtube recognizes what you're all about it will not share you anywhere it will only do you on per video it won't do you as a channel remember there is channel there is video there are metrics for video there are metrics for channel so the more you can pump quantity of volumes that are good the better and look at this it's just normal arithmetic if you do one video and 1000 sees that 10 people can subscribe but then if you do 500 videos it increases the metrics to maybe 150 people are going to subscribe and the more people subscribe or the more people relate with your video the more people see your video the better is your chances to rank so do volume when you are starting all i want you to know is the very first metrics you have to hit is 1000 subscribers even before you start hustling for 4000 watch hour so get the subscribers in by doing in volume the more your videos the probability that more people are going to see you and this works every time on youtube number three is your metrics metrics are way important on this i said it in the beginning 
Oh, now I'm going against myself. I said do not focus on metrics and now I'm mentioning metrics. Of course, I'm not telling you to focus on it, but understand how these metrics work. I'm going to make a whole dedicated tutorial about metrics so that you will know everything. From your click-through rate, which means your thumbnail must be attractive, to your audience retention, you have to retain people to keep watching you when you are making videos. If you just speak and you are not fiery, I've had people in my classroom that I teach YouTube personally and then you see them when they come up on set, they're like, hello everyone, today I'm going to show to you and then three, four, five minutes into the video, they are dropping off. And then they're saying, you see, as if they are getting moody or they are getting tired. No, you need to have the same fiery that you start with to the end. That's what keeps people glued to you. And let me tell you, by metrics, the more people stay on your channel, the more YouTube will promote you. Point blank. Nothing more, no less. That's why celebrity pages are always the number one you see. Because people like them, they stay on their pages and YouTube promote. YouTube does not know personality. It only works based on numbers. So if 100 people walking through your click-through rate and the 100 see your old video to the end that video will go viral that is how to get virality i'll teach that in another tutorial as well i'm just telling you make sure you keep people on your video and not your channel i mean your video because if they can stay on your video then they can watch the second one they can watch the third one and then they are binge watching and that makes a whole lot of difference put your mind on the metrics make sure you have camera presence so people can stay on your video to the end number four that can get you minimum of 30 subscribers every single day is by doing external traffic now i always advise that you don't do external traffic but when you are starting out, you need to get people to your video. Remember, YouTube does not bring people to you. YouTube brings video to people who want you. So if you are starting out and YouTube doesn't even know who to show your videos to, it's going to be very difficult for you to rank. You have to rank yourself. That's the whole essence of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. YouTube wants you to put in the job before it understands what you are doing. So show your hands and I will help you. That's what YouTube is practically screaming. How do you do this? Go to forum. Quora.com. Go to Nairaland.com. All of the forums, you can practically just type on Google what whatever niche you are in and type forum for example this channel i'm teaching youtube so i go to google and type youtube forum click on enter it will show you thousands of forums that you can jump in to promote yourself as well some of them will ban you some of them will do whatever it depends just keep going you are going to get quality traffic to your channel and they will subscribe unless you don't have value that you are passing to them but provided your content are tight they will always subscribe that was the fourth thing i did to make sure my channel blew up number five is use gifts to attract people everybody love gifts including me if you want to give me a gift go to the comment section and say i'm going to give you a car or a house or a travel i'll take it <laughs> i'll take it but i'm just telling you everybody loves a gift so you can give clothing you can give shirts you can give phones you can whatever you have if you don't have that you can give digital products you can give free ebooks free pdf books you can add them to new groups you know you can do all of that just make sure you are giving free things people love free things they will subscribe to you when they know they can come back and win something they will subscribe to you it's a very natural way of doing this and then just be open with it and be truthful about it and then you win their heart. Number six is consultancy. Anytime you teach anything, a lot of people still believe they want to see you one-on-one -on -one before they can know what you're teaching. I'm sure some of you are feeling, oh, I think I need to speak to Jan Tube on this so that I can get the old metrics as if what I'm teaching here is not the real deal. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have that feeling and oh, let me meet him and maybe he can give me some other acts or strategies. You can use that to capture their attention. So you tell them, I'm open up for consultancy, one-on-one -on -one training. If you need one-on-one -on -one training, go to the comment section and ask. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just teaching you this, okay? I'm not saying I need one-on-one -on -one training. I'm just saying Saying, that's what you tell your audience go to the comment section if you need one-on-one -on -one training i'm going to contact you and i'll book a time with you so just make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video every of your videos make sure you put that up and then you see tons of people joining you and then they will subscribe and look that is a very fantastic metric here when people join that way you add them to your group for free remember when you post a video the volume of people that watch it at the very first minute or hours matters a lot so when people join your whatsapp groups or your facebook groups every other subsequent videos that you make you post it to them them, they are the first set of people that will watch so from a new channel that has maybe 200 subscribers or 300 subscribers is posting a video and in two three four 24 hours is having 200 views youtube thinks hmm this is fantastic boom it starts showing you to more people and then the more people see you the more people subscribe that's how to get your 1000 subscribers in 30 days and it's very important i'm recommending this video for you to show you how you can learn metrics you need to know your metrics